the major turning point in the film is when uh, Mort Ouroboor has arranged that Quinby and McCullum should be wed. And a young dwarf from the gate comes with a news interrupting that uh, Prince McCullum's sunstone has been found. Obviously, his stepfather stole the sunstone from Prince McCullum when he was very young. And uh, the stepfather going through this journey to wanting, desiring this power to open the gate, getting everything for himself. Mm, that now the prince knows that uh, he's supposed to go on a journey, he's supposed to go and do things uh, that his stepfather did. And uh, he's also still a young and stubborn man, wants things for himself. So he goes and uh, finds his stepfather's bones in the desert, finds out that he cannot do it alone, that he needs his counterpart. He needs Quinby, he needs the advice of the dwarves and the wind, which he does get. So he comes back with a sunstone, finding out that there is so much more that he needs to do before he can save his people. Prince McQuillam has just had time to save Quinby from the underworld river as a crawfish. They have both come out of the river naked, so Prince goes to find his clothes and uh, his horse. And uh, at this time, Mort Orbor comes out of the bush and uh, throws an old ugly dress for Quinby, taking her to the underworld, showing her the contract that her stepfather has made and uh, there is no back obviously now the prince has to go through many more nights and days of mourning and trying to find her again to follow her to the underground so it's really endless road of difficulties that they need to go through